But the next step is highlight just your data set. And then come over here to this icon which says insert chart. And look, it created my chart for me. And if you check for tail, it's got a title, uh, it's got the axes in the right place because I set it up that way. In my data table, I put the x-axis first, which it put down here, and then I put, uh, which is the year. Um, and usually x-axis is your time. Uh, when something is, an experiment is done over time, that's what you want to make your x-axis. And the y-axis is the parameter, DO in milligrams per liter. And there you have your chart. You could be done right there. Um, but I want to show you how to let's make it a little bigger, how to customize your chart because this is a good thing to learn. So over here where it says chart editor, I mean, first of all, it looks good. So I don't have to change anything in the setup, but I can go to customize and uh, make it my own. First of all, I can change the font. Uh, if I want a Roboto font, I can put that on. And I can change the chart border color to make it a little darker, or maybe to make it pop. Um, and you can experiment with these things to see what they do. Chart title, uh, DO versus year. I, I could do better than that. I'm going to say DO milligrams per liters in Chimicum Creek. 2002 to 2020. And then if I click here again, I can put a subtitle if I wanted to. Uh, I don't need anything. The horizontal axis says year, and that's how I want it, so that's good. But I could change the font for just that one and make it comic if you like the comic songs. And the vertical axis title, it's perfect. I'm not going to mess with that one, but I'm going to change it to Garamond because it's very uh, nice looking. And then series, this is where you can change the color of your um, line in your line graph. You know, I always do things purple because I like purple. And the line, I, I want a straight line. I don't want a dashed line, but you can choose the thickness make it a little thicker so again so it pops um, and you can put points where all the data is and that doesn't show very well Let's see if we make it a little bigger you can do that again you can make it um, your own so they don't all look the same and if you want if you click on data labels this is really nice because it puts the numbers right where the dots are which uh, I like so that's series. Then you go to legend and you can have a legend, which I don't see where it went. Let's click on right. There we go. That way people know uh, it's just neat to have a legend in, in on your chart or graph. Next, you have horizontal axis. That's the X axis. That's the years. And it goes from 2002 to 2020. And it doesn't show all the numbers because I, I would need to make my graph much longer for that to show. So it, it looks OK. I'm really not going to mess with that one. Vertical axis, though, my Y axis, uh, that one I could say I want my minimum to be zero. And it already is so I don't have to. And a maximum of 15, since the highest DO we got was 13.1, um, 15 is great, so I'm just going to keep it there um, because it, it works really well. But you add that minimum and maximum, and it makes it uh, sharp. Now, grid lines. Let's see how we can make this look a little better. We've got vertical, just the vertical axis. All right minor grid lines let's see what happens if we put one so it adds some more grids and look what happened to the year it's got all the years there i really like that um what happens if we put two yeah just makes it more well, that's not bad so once you've got your chart the way you want it look at it you're ready to go so here's what you do you click on the three dots you go to download and download it as a PNG. 
because that you can put on your blog. So I click on download and it downloads it as DO milligram per liter in Chimicum Creek 2002 to 2020 PNG. Boom, I've got it in my download folder. It's ready to put on your blog post. And you now can do that for every single one. Next one you're going to do it for is pH. I know, the whole process again. You're going to make DO, pH, water temp, turbidity, flow rate, and skip conductivity because we didn't do it every year. So you wouldn't have enough data to make a decent graph. And for temperature, you can choose to do it in Fahrenheit or Celsius, whatever you want. Celsius is m better for the whole world. Anybody in any country can understand it. But Fahrenheit is really helpful for us here. And if you want to do both, message me on Classcraft and I'll show you how. So do that now. Make your five graphs. Good luck.